Hi, I'm standing in the orchard where we've got wildflowers and grasses growing all around me. It's the most wonderful place and it's completely natural. We've put, cut a path through it and just allowed nature to grow and to take over and it's done a brilliant job. We are going to be planting lots of wildflowers around the farm. We've already started in some areas and you'll see that in this film but this next few minutes is dedicated to wildflowers and mentions the course that we're going to be running later in the year specifically about those and it features my good friend Tim Wicks who is talking about some of the work he's much more of an expert I'm not an expert at all I know nothing and uh, he is learning lots and lots in order to run the course. The last little bit, the sign off at the end, is Tim reading a poem that he has written specifically for this piece. I hope you enjoy it. I really like this new path. It didn't used to be there because the garden used to go, all the grass used to go right up to the sensory garden. Yeah, yeah, I mean originally we had the idea that there'd be a uh, a cut through path through the orchard and we didn't really know what it was going to look like but we thought it might be nice um, and now look at it it's just astoundingly lovely and it is a path path yeah you can see it's yeah, a path yeah, yeah. can't you yeah come the next but what is that that little flower down there is called self heal it's a, a blue flower it's a good name is it a good name it's a good name, but I don't. Does it mean it's it heals itself, or was it used in healing? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's read a book and find out, eh? <laughs> or ask Guy, he'll yeah. know. Yeah. I find this bit really. It doesn't matter how many times I see this. This is fascinating. These are white flowers on stalks, and yet they're all different. That one there in the foreground is very different clump of petals to the yeah. others. It's fascinating to me. Yeah, we had an idea that you know. We wanted a wildflower meadow, and um, in fact, that's exactly what we've got. Yeah, that little shadow the butterfly going past. There's a lot of wildlife in here. <laughs> lots and lots. There's um, lots of butterflies and bees coming in here, but obviously, there's loads of insects and things that we don't see. Yeah, I mean, it 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 controls the the, the whole food chain. You've got little tiny bugs that eat eaten by bigger bugs and the bigger bugs are eaten by the birds and you know there's other um it does the whole food chain yeah have a look have a look at that yeah they see that april may june july three months and it's changed totally yeah. but even that looked good i can remember going down and filming that and thinking this looks like a path yeah but now look at it there's another butterfly beautiful and then the trees popping out it, it, accentuate the beauty of the long grass don't yeah, they yeah yeah they do yeah we've got a on the right hand side we've got a an, an area that we're going to develop into a wildflower area but i think we've uh, we've already got one of those here <laughs> look at that yeah just naturally growing so many different kinds they they it's very subtle you can walk through this very quickly and not take it in and there would be people who don't take it in. Like there, the bench is just such a great little place to sit and and allow the warmth of the day. It's Mark's bench, because Mark uh, died last year, but he liked being near the alpacas, which are the other side of the hedge. Yeah, yeah, and who would have thought that a seat like that would be in a place like that? Yeah, it's, beautiful. yeah, it's in the middle of nowhere, really. There's a thistle growing. Now, this is the ancient orchard which is probably 100, 100 plus years old. It hasn't been used as an orchard for a long time. But it's just naturally grown like this. We planted about 300 saplings in there. This is one of the ancient plum trees and they do taste nice. I had my first one yesterday, it tastes lovely. Just gotta get them before the squirrels do. Or maybe let the squirrels have them. Well, that's another point. Yes, yes. Maybe I shouldn't begrudge squirrels having a bit of a treat. Um, I was thinking when I was a kid, I used to think this was a waste of time. You know, just let's have a football pitch. But this is lovely. 
Tom grass is really good. <laughs> Beautiful, and it floats as well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, and look at the delicacy <clears throat> of that little flower in amongst all these giants around it. it. Yeah, what is it? Maybe you need to look in your book. <laughs> and then you can educate us all. So tell us about the wildflower course that you're going to be doing later yeah, in the year. Yeah, we're going to be um, learning about growing and um, also being able to make them available for the public as well. So um, we're going to grow wildflowers. I've got 25 different sorts of seed and um, we've grown, I've grown quite a few of the plants at home and they're all planted out on, on the bund. On the bund here, which is which near Poly 1. seeded as well. Um, and there's some really lovely plants there, which at the moment they haven't flowered yet. Some of them have from seed. They're some of the seeds that we planted last year. And they're coming up. They're coming so up. So that's really a cornflower. I know the blue one is a cornflower. Well done. I'm yeah. getting very smart. That's good. And the red one is a poppy. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> After that, yeah. I get a bit stumped. Yes, yeah. rest... and that's one of the things you might learn. I might learn on the course. course. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. look, a month ago, there was nothing there. Absolutely. And now nothing. look at this: a little yeah. bit of sun, a little bit of rain, and a lot of hard work. Yeah, yeah, a lot of hard work. A lot of hard work. Yeah. So those yellow ones, what are they? Californian poppies. Another more poppies. Look more at that poppies. colour. Beautiful, isn't it? What a place. What a privilege. You're reading the script. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It is a place you've got to come and see for yourself. You have, yes. Who's seen the wind? Not you or I. But as the grass moves, she's passing by. The wind drives the weather, or the wind will just find a subtle reminder for the weather to be kind. The power of the wind is a thing to address, and it drives all the turbines, and is bound to impress. It carries all clouds and is so elemental, but it also wafts flower scents, and can be so gentle. It stirs up, it dries up. It pushes the sails of a thousand Dutch windmills as it rushes and rails. It's a big, strong reminder of our weakness in this. The wind is God's breath. He's blowing a kiss. <laughs>